this, this is Chuck, Chuck's off the grid world. Hit the uh, 800 mile checkup on my bicycle here, on my e-bike. I got 802 miles. Uh, I gotta say from 700 miles to 800 miles, I've had zero issues. Everything is working just perfectly. I still got a problem with this where I dumped it over and I broke it. What I gotta do is I gotta take a key and push in on that button to turn it on and off. But it still works. I'm a little concerned about whether whether it get down in there or not. I don't I don't know about that. This thing here still works. It's broken. Uh, it's my fault. I damaged it when I put it in, in the back of the pickup truck to, to haul it. Uh, this little meter here doesn't work. Still, I can still operate it just fine. I just know what gear it is just by riding it. Um, the seat, although the seat is still not real, real comfortable, but it seems to be working better now. For some reason, it's not just crunchy. I think maybe I've got enough oil and stuff down inside there to fill that tube up or something. I don't know, but it's working just fine. Uh, the brakes are working just fine. I've replaced the, the brakes on it. And had a recall on that. This uh, headlight, let me turn it on here. The headlight. It's still working perfectly. You know, I uh, was able to epoxy it back together and that works just perfect. The fork tubes are working great. Tires are working great. Um, holding air. The mirror, the mirror is working perfectly. Um, no problems. The gear is working like it's supposed to be. I got my other bike out here just to show you. The seat is uncomfortable. I just don't like it. This seat here, although it's not a pogo stick seat, it's just a regular seat. It uh, it's a much much better seat. It's an expensive seat. My wife bought it for me for a birthday present or something. It's Italian made. Maybe it fits my Italian bud. I don't know. But uh, the back tire. It's starting to show a little bit of wear on it, but I think it's good for another probably thousand miles. But uh, all in all, it's working great. Um, I'm gonna take them out here in a minute and go for another ride. I mostly ride this bike right here. My old trusty bike, it, I bought it back in the 90s, I think. Uh, it's back one of the days when it was actually still made in the United States. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> it's an old Raleigh. But uh, I mostly ride this bike when the weather is questionable, whether it's going to be windy or something. I'll a lot of times I'll take the e bike because it just I can uh, power through it with the e bike. I don't normally use the power part of it, other than I have it on, I'll put it on pedal assist one. That way it just helps me when I'm going real about under six miles an hour up a hill or something and I'll power it a little bit. But other than that, the bike actually pedals more difficult than this one here. So I'm getting exercise out of it. And that's what I'm trying to do. I try to ride about eight miles a day. Um, sometimes it's a little bit less than that. It's too cold or especially this time of year. We just had a big snowstorm. We had at least two and a half to three foot of snow. It's all, it's all melted off now. But uh, I'm getting ready to take it out. Thank you for watching.